U.S. election finally at an end, we decided we wanted to go out and get some good food. But we have no idea where good food is. So, we reached out to our friend Marco. Marco's an Instagram influencer local to Austin, and he focuses on the best food in town. So we asked him to take us to his four favorite places. He did not disappoint. So we are waiting on Marco. We have no idea where he's taking us today. It is all a surprise and I am excruciatingly excited. It'll be great. My name is Marco and my Instagram is marco.eatsatx. His pictures of food is spectacular. We are following Marco to the next spot, which he says is a taco place. I am so hungry, he started listing off the genres and I started salivating, which was thoroughly embarrassing. But we are on our way to the next spot. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. Marco's first destination for us was a food truck named Granny's Tacos. This first taco, we have a mole taco on chilaquiles. This is what this food truck is known for, their chilaquiles. Chilaquiles is basically tortillas, which is corn tortillas, super crispy. They put them on oil, they fry them on the pan, and then they put a sauce over them. These tortillas are like super soaked in this mole sauce. Mole is known for like all the ingredients it has. You know, it has chocolate, it has a lot of spices. I mean, they combined both, you know, mole and chilaquiles, and they became, became a taco. You know what I mean, taco? Oh, holy shit. Be honest, be honest. <laughs> Alright, so honest. That is a legitimately banging taco. But oh my god, it's good. That is... That is extraordinarily good. That mole sauce is... Mmm. Yeah. Next on Marco's list was Smokin' Beauty barbecue, and Vietnamese fusion. Smoking Beauty came into Austin not too long ago, actually. Well, they had a, a food truck on the east side of town called Ted's Farm, but then the owners decided to open a restaurant. They came a little bit north, you know, but hey, there's a lot of people that come here that have amazing food. It's a twist between Vietnamese with barbecue. You can see the combination of, you know, Texas, Vietnamese food combined. This one is their sliders, pork belly sliders. Their, this bread is so good. It's it's like a Hawaiian kind of bread. Uh, it almost that's what it tastes like to me. We also have their smoking fries. A lot of barbecue on top, a little bit of cheese, not too overpowering, and then their white sauce on top, and a lot of fries, of course. <laughs> and then this is their new addition to their menu, which is their brunch menu, is uh, waffles and pork belly. But today I decided to get some barbecue on it, and this one I'm gonna have. There's so much food. Oh, really good. It's super tender. You couldn't even pick it up with a fork. I know. I couldn't get it off the, the plastic fork. It fell apart when I picked it up. That's legitimately good. I don't need any sauce for that. On its own, plenty of flavor. Falls right apart. It, it's definitely the more tender brisket, which sometimes can be too fatty. That is not the case with this. This is extraordinarily well done. After an inordinate amount of extremely good barbecue, we decided to head off to destination number three, Paprika Taco Truck, in an alley behind an antique store and a ramen restaurant. So this place I like a lot, it's called Paprika. Um, the owner was born in Matamoros, Mexico. Then he, he grew up in Indiana and then moved to Austin. So quite a little journey there, a lot of moving. They have some traditional tacos. Right now we're gonna get the trompo, which is kind of al pastor. I mean, I like this taco a lot. The meat is cooked in a hito way, or like they spin it around this fire. And they add a slice of uh, pineapple. The meat also is very seasoned. Um, I believe it's pork. Double tortilla, like in Me Mexico, most of the places they put double tortilla. We're just gonna put a little bit of lime on top, like this. Uh, and then it should be ready to go.
good. What he said. He even did the lime pretty. It was like a flourish. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I do. I do like the fact that it's a double uh, tortilla. That is helpful. All right. Mmm. Two things. One, that meat is fantastic. You taste the lime throughout the whole thing. Cooked really well. Really good. Two, he asked me if I wanted this green sauce, which had like jalapenos in it, lime, and avocado, and these other things. That is banging. That is super good. Good tortilla. Really good meat. It's gonna remind a little bit of an al pastor, but different. Different texture, a little bit of a different flavor, but a solid, solid flavor to it. That sauce is really good too. I don't know how the red sauce is, but I, I can hardly recommend the green sauce. Got some of the pineapple in there, which threw me for a second because I wasn't prepared to have that texture all of a sudden, but the little kick of juice right there, and that's clearly a very long cooked pineapple. It almost has just a little hint of caramelization from the natural sugars from cooking for so long. Paprika, it is right next to a vintage antique store and a ramen place called Michi Ramen on Lamar. It's a little hard to notice because it's in a little alleyway, so you're gonna pass it if you're just following your GPS like we did, but I heartily recommend it. That's a good taco and not a bad price. And a free beer because, you know, Joe Biden won. With three extraordinary restaurants down, it was time for dessert. We headed off to Prohibition Cream. Creamery specializes in a wide variety of boozy ice creams, and so we got ourselves a flight. One prickly pear mezcal sorbet with Prosecco poured on top, Vietnamese coffee-flavored ice cream with some Bailey's Irish cream, and in my opinion, the best one of the list, a deconstructed old-fashioned. There are marshmallows. It looks like there's also some lemon zest, a black maraschino cherry, and I'm assuming bourbon? Okay. How is it? Okay. That lemon zest is perfect. A nice little tick of freshness. Really good marshmallows. I still don't actually really know what this is. I don't know what this is, but it is delicious. It is really refreshing. day we just did boozy ice cream which I, I think I'm gonna pop but it was extraordinarily delicious that ice cream was so good everything today was a legitimate 10 out of 10 we're gonna put uh, info down in the description for both Marco's Instagram this is Instagram because they're competing here <laughs> he's still competing he's currently winning let's not follow let's, me this one me this one here <laughs> follow me but everything was incredible yes. we will put the list down in the bottom you really got to hit each one and support those local businesses. They are amazing. Yeah, they amazing. need it and they, they earn it, man. Those places are absolutely worth it. But thank you guys for the thank great you. day. Thank you. Yeah, thank it was you. absolutely so much incredible. Fun. Yeah. And look forward to episode two of this because <laughs> Josh needs more food. <laughs> Very excited. Thank you all. Of course, see you guys. Now disperse. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Wearing skinny jeans and a leotard was a mistake. <laughs> Boyfriend jeans and a big baggy t-shirt. That's the way to go when you're on Marco's Austin food tour. <laughs>